So this question is a diagram question. More specifically, it is a graph question, right? We see the graph provided here. So the question says the scatter plot shows the relationship between two variables, x and y, right? x-axis, y-axis. A line of best fit for the data is also shown. So we see that line of best fit right there. Which data point has an actual y value that is two more than the y value predicted by the line of best fit for the corresponding x value? So we see some data points that are above the line of best fit for y. So this first one is when x equals 3, the line of best fit says that the y value should be 16, but it is actually here, which is 20. So that's 4 higher, so that's not correct. And then we have this one here, when x is 5, and the line of best fit says we should be at 28, and the actual point is at 30, right? It's right there in the middle between 28 and 32, so that is good, right? So I like this 5, 30 answer. And then lastly, the last one we have is this one, which is when x is 6. The line of best fit says we should be at 34, um, but it's actually at 38. That's a, another 4 higher, right? So choice D is the best answer here. And truly, we just used the diagram, right? We used the graph. I could have and probably should have just gone directly to the answer choices and tried out each answer choice. But the first thing that stood out to me in this particular case was the fact that I knew I was looking for data points above the line of best fit, and it just popped out, right? Like there's only one, two, three, right? So my eyes just went straight to there and tried to figure out, well, how much higher than the line of best fit is, those, is the point, right? So again, here was four, here was two, here was four. So choice D, best answer.